Happy Halloween. Hope you guys are doing good. Trying something new. We're going to also be grafting today. What's up guys, we're back. If this is your first time, welcome. To all of my Doring fans out there, welcome back. Alright, I guess we're going to be grafting. This is what I've selected. And the reason why is, I feel like, uh, well, the stem is about the same size as my Scion, which is what I have in a Ziploc right here. So, I got my Parafilm M whole roll. Don't forget, you got to have some alcohol, which is what we're going to use to clean our little Exacto. And can't forget the little beverage. Make sure you stay hydrated. So this is what we're going to do. So what I like to do is I wrap the whole piece first up to close to the very, very end like this. And I save a little parafilm. And then from here, I'll cut my V on my Scion. And then I'll cut the... So we're going to go about right there. Alright, so I cut my V and I stuck it in there and now I'm going to wrap this whole thing. So we are going to try the close clip method. This is what people are starting to do or one of the things that people are starting to do. Typically, um, I like to do just a rubber band and that's been successful for me. So this time we're just going to do the, paper or, uh, the close uh, clip. So let's see how it goes. All right, all done for now. Here it is. Don't forget to date it and name it. We're gonna leave it in this nice and shady spot right here and see how it goes. And then you guys also saw my read. This is kind of what it looks like right now. This is just the seedling. We're not gonna do anything with it. We're just going to let it grow. So, Also, just for fun, I have a dragon fruit that I had a fruit that had a little piece on there and I just stuck the piece in some water and then all of a sudden it started rooting and then now we are going to try to grow it. So, see how that goes. We're also smoking some ribs. I got it wrapped right now. So I'm going to show you some footage of an older graft that I did on my queen and I'm going to show you what it looks like as of today all right all right guys it's July 26 2021 and I just did a graft of a queen onto a seedling that I grew from an avocado that I bought from Costco I wanted to make sure I wrote the date on there, 726. So I got it in a shady spot. This used to be what was on there before I cut it off. Here's my queen graft. It took Sorry about the lighting, even the tip here, as good as it can be I guess. So I did this 726, it's 926, essentially two months later and it took so it's all good. So hopefully I'm going to leave it underneath this shade, shaded area for a little longer and continue to monitor and water it but it seems to be doing okay, so we'll see how it goes. Check out my queen, which I grafted, 726. It's kind of weird, it has this shoot that's coming out on the side here, but at least it took, so I'm okay with that. 
So a couple things I've learned while grafting. This is my this is my third one. My first one that I did, I uh, it was still green. It was still okay. I got a little anxious and just kind of was poking at the the parafilm and then moved it out of the shade and then I ended up killing it. So the key is patience because if it's still green and it's still looking like it's still okay hang on tight because it took a while like this queen actually took two months for it to finally take and that was the two months that I kind of was like did it work did it not work but just be patient and then eventually uh, if it if it took it will eventually kind of uh, leaf out like this so so let's see how this goes uh, and then I'll keep you guys updated as soon as it leaves out if it doesn't and it dies, I mean, I did it high enough that we still have a chance to kind of graft something else on here. Um, so we did it above these sets of leaves here. So usually I do it a little lower, but this is okay. This one seems to be doing okay right now. So we'll see how it goes. Got some new chairs for sitting and hanging out and checking out our avocados. What do you guys think? Looks pretty cool, huh? All right, showing you guys some footage of some artwork that the kiddos did for Halloween. They had a really good time doing it. So thanks for watching, and you guys have a safe and happy Halloween. Talk to you guys later. See ya.